everyone it is malia and i am in seattle well currently this is actually bellevue the city next to seattle because i couldn't find a cheap hotel in the city but this works too and it is my first official solo trip i'm so excited i'm gonna be here from thursday until sunday evening so i have a lot of time to just go around and explore and see the city i've been meaning to do a solo trip um this year ever since you know flight prices went down and after i went to hawaii in july i just really miss traveling so i figured why not do a nice little weekend trip by myself i picked seattle because it was pretty cheap when i bought the ticket and i've always wanted to go and it's right over there it's like a two hour flight from the bay so i figured why not give it a try and yes here i am i flew over here this morning and honestly for lack of better words the first few hours was just a huge shit show i didn't even think i was gonna make it so long story short but when i got onto my flight my finger like part of my skin got stuck on the seat buckle i'll show some pictures and videos and it was just stuck it could not get out the flight attendants were trying to help me the pilot came and tried to help me and then they were about to get mechanics to come in cut the seatbelt with my finger still stuck in it and then rebook me for the next flight when they were able to get it off but then luckily right before they were going to cut it off i just pulled it and it really hurt but i got it out and my finger is okay so yeah, that was the start of my trip. I was so stressed. I started crying on the plane because of course that would happen to me. And when I got to Seattle, I was just so frazzled. I did not really plan out this trip. I'm honestly not prepared at all. I'm just gonna go with the flow, but I was so frazzled trying to figure out my car situation. I ordered my first meal. I got a poke bowl from this place called Fremont Bowls and it was recommended by one of my friends I think Celeste, shout out to you Celeste and I'm very excited to eat it my order was ready at 12.20 and I didn't pick it up until 1.15 but after I picked up my food I couldn't even eat it and come to the hotel right away because I had a mini emergency at work so I was trying to deal with it in the car and I had to go on a Zoom call and yeah, it was just... <laughs> I hope the rest of this trip is not how it was for the first few hours because if it is mm, good luck malia i'm hungry we're gonna try this bowl i also didn't technically take off work today it is thursday um i'm just not attending any meetings but i do need to work just a little um i didn't really work this morning and let's see it's 2 30 i want to try to finish work by 4 so i can head back to the city and then just explore and figure out what i want to do for dinner so Yes, but let's eat this first. <laughs> We're gonna take out the wasabi. We don't need that. Or the ginger. Everyone's probably gasping right now. I'm not a wasabi or ginger person. Sorry. I will dip first and see. So here's some tuna. Mmm. This is very oily. The tuna quality is really good. Since it was in the car, it's a little warm, but that's not their fault. That's my fault. Mmm, that salmon looks good. Good crab salad. Mmm, the seaweed salad is good. Delicious. For my first meal. This did not disappoint. I want to give it a 10, but I'm probably just going to give it a 7 because not by their fault. It's just not fresh, so I can't enjoy it as much. And I don't like the sauce as much. It's kind of oily. I think I would try this again and eat it right away. The sauce is a little underwhelming, but it's still not bad. Like, it's not bad at all. The fish quality is top notch. I think I got poke once after Hawaii back home and it was not good. I just, mm, I did not like it. So this hits the spot and it's all done. Well, kind of. I didn't finish the rice or the lettuce, but I finished the fish. So that's what matters.
Okay, just wrapped up work. I'm gonna head back to the city and I don't know, just explore. Here's the fit, pretty simple. I don't know, I'm kind of over today, so I just put on some clothes and just wanna get on out of here, so. Yay, let's go, woo! Okay, so what I just used to unlock my rent-a-car, it's actually an app called Gig. I found out Ubers were like $40 one way from Seattle to my hotel. And then I discovered this thing called Gig. It's basically, if you've ever heard of Bird, like the scooter app where you can rent scooters um, on campuses or in cities, that's basically what Gig is, but for cars. So for one day, it's about $99. So if I use it for about three days, that's around 300 so that's $200 cheaper than when I would have rented from somewhere like Enterprise. I'm in a nice Prius. I've never driven a Prius before. It was definitely hard trying to figure out what to do. I don't know. I'm very used to older cars, but it's keyless. I get to unlock and lock the car just from my phone, um, so I have to make sure I don't lose battery. But yeah, if you're ever in Seattle and you want a cheap car rental, definitely check out Gig. Not sponsored, but a fan. We're also gonna listen to Lisa's new song, La Lisa. And money, I love money. All those TikToks of money and Squid Game, amazing. I stand Blackpink. You can see there's a bunch of nature inside. It's like a huge greenhouse in there, I think. I wish it was open. So I didn't just come in here for fun. I actually do need this phone charger because I brought mine, but mine is the new lightning one, and I actually need one to plug into the car, so yes, take my money, Amazon, take it all. And here's the damage. I need half of those, um, half of that, half of that. I'm not gonna finish that. I'm sorry. I need half of this and half of this. Got the goods. Thank you, Dozone. Oh my god, who's texting me? Thank you, Dozone, for a wonderful meal. I really did enjoy it. Throughout dinner, I was texting a lot of people, look at what I'm eating, and everyone's asking, is it better than Din Tai Fung? No, I don't think so. I think I have to pick Din Tai Fung still because they have fried rice and they have green beans. There is no green beans at Dozone for some reason. Unfortunately, I didn't like the hot and sour clear glass noodles. I really like hot and sour soup and this was not hot and sour soup. It was 
just japchae. It was very oily. Love the Q buns, those were delicious. I also like the green onion pancakes, those were really good. And then the soup dumplings, the sha lang baos. I have to give it to Din Tai Fung. I think dough zones was a little too thick on the dough, and Din Tai Fung's are steaming when they give it to you. Dough zones was like, a lukewarm because it's soup. It's supposed to be hot. It's not supposed to be lukewarm. So, so yes, Din Tai Fung, you are the winner. But Dozone, don't worry. You still have a special place in my heart as the first place I ate dinner at in Seattle. So thank you. I think the couple that was next to me was definitely judging me by how much I ordered. Once again, I really don't eat that much unless I'm on like a vacation or a trip. So, yes, that was delicious. And now I'm going to go back to the hotel and enter my food coma. It's not a smart TV. There's no Netflix. <gasps> what? I'm upset. Good morning, here is the fit for today. I brought only one pair of pants and I'm probably only going to wear these pants every single day, but it's fine. Thank you, Abercrombie, for some great pants. Also look at my new sunglasses. They were $300 and I regret nothing. Why did all the real ones go? Why is my night so slow? Ain't seeping in my skin. Hoping it could heal my soul. No, I gotta get my own. Swear we on different roads. I'm burning they fucking bridge. Cause I ain't gon' pay no toll. Money can't kill my pain, but no, it keeps my dream. Alive. Let's try the drink first. I don't know why I got an ice cream drink. I think because all the other drinks look like I wouldn't enjoy it. I am a coffee drinker, um, but I like my coffee really sweet. So I thought the ice cream would be a good touch. So. Mm. Oh my goodness, that is delicious. Mm. This is really good. Holy shit. 10 out of 10. Hands down, this drink is 10 out of 10. Mm. Chef's kiss. It's basically a ham and cheese croissant, but the croissant looks high quality. Very flaky. Mmm, this is very good. I wish it was warm. They don't heat it up. Mmm, I really like this. Everything on the window displays looks so good. They have pizza. I wanted to get pizza, but that's not really a breakfast thing, so that's why I didn't get it. They have a smoked salmon sandwich. They have a lot of croissants, different types of croissants. And yeah, just after tasting one bite, you can tell this croissant was made with a lot of love. We're gonna try the chocolate hazelnut one now. Look at the little dollop of chocolate right there. So cute. Mmm. I didn't get any chocolate yet. Is the chocolate only in the middle? This is insane. So much better than a regular chocolate croissant. A little sad that the chocolate is only in the center. I thought it was going to be more throughout, but it's still very good. And like I said, I cannot get over the quality of these croissants. It is like top-notch quality. Mm, I want to eat all of it. I'm probably going to. Honey, be all I dream these days because my health declines. Running those doing laps around them because it's do or die. Is do or die. I keep on driving perfect circles. Wonder if it's worth it. Always getting hurt, and I keep on driving perfect circles. Wonder what's the purpose. I'm coming back to earth. i
text I couldn't send to you Close my eyes and pretend like this never ended cause I've been leaning Why did I go with you? Oh my god! This time of vision is all I witnessed to you Oh my god, Please come back to earth for me This was just a seed that you planted in dirt for me It's worth something I've been trying to show them the worst of me Name me one person who would steal from a purse for me It hurts, don't it? We got some demons in common but not the same laws Five, nine, but you'll be six feet deep and find a halo I know where the fuck I'm going These mountains just stepping stones That was fun, I just went to the museum of pop culture They had a lot of cool stuff Anyone who's into like sci-fi or just um, pop culture things, definitely check it out. Ooh, music's a little loud, but I think I'm done in the Seattle Center area. I'm going to Space Needle tomorrow, um, just so I could space all these things out. But now I'm going to head to Pike Place. I'm gonna go to the car first, because I forgot my cord. So I need to charge my phone again, of course. And yeah, Let's grab some lunch over there. Once again, if you're new here, you would know that I gave up dairy this year, so this is gonna be a trip. Mm. Ooh, that's some cheesy cheese. Delicious. 10 out of 10. Solid mac and cheese. I'm very upset, so I went back to the Spears, I was chilling on the staircases, it was beautiful, and while I'm walking, I see this, and I went, what? It's on me, it's on my white shirt. <laughs> Tuna, um, I live here with some rice, seaweed salad. Yeah. This is apparently the best poke in Seattle, so let's try it. The rice is mushy. In a different place. Yeah. Shot. But the poke is really good. I think I would rate it a seven. <laughs> The rice, mm, their sauce is really good though. All right, I just finished at Cary Park. Watch the sunset, it was beautiful. One of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen, especially because you can see the whole city, like the skyline, and then the sunset was just beautiful. At first, it was just like a normal sunset, but then once that golden hour hit, it turned into pinks and purples and blues and it was just so so beautiful i could see why it was so crowded but now let's get to my dinner i had seattle fish guys so i had the spicy salmon and the spicy ahi and the fish was really good i honestly would be so happy if i got that in a poke bowl but the problem was it was regular rice and not only was it regular rice aka not sushi rice it was overcooked it was mushy and ugh, I hate mushy rice like overcooked mushy rice is the worst and it just completely ruins a meal for me and I'm sorry if that makes me sound picky but it's true overcooked rice is a no-no so I was very sad 
Anywho, I'm going to find somewhere where I can grab a late night snack. I might go to the international district. I heard they have a lot of cool stuff there. So maybe there, grab some dessert also, and then head back. It is already 7.30, so I should get going. I don't want to get back to the hotel too, too late. So I'm going to figure out what to get, and we'll head on here. She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine. She likes no stairs, say I love All right, time to head out. Here is the fit. I've been meaning to wear this. I bought this from Yastyle a year ago, and this is the first time I'm ever wearing it. It also has a matching skirt, but I wanted to wear all black instead because I love wearing black. So, off to get some coffee. And your mama like me, look I squared up with Cupid, told him find me I saw your love, you shot my heart I'm losing breath, it's getting dark I think I might need CPR, baby won't you tell me do you love me Like I do, tell me what you're willing to prove Cause I ain't got nothing to lose It's true that you mean the world to me, yeah I travel around the globe but I know that you're the only girl for me and I gotta let you know that, yeah, baby, I waited about 20 minutes for this, but I got myself a Seattle dog. So many people were recommending to get this, and the only difference is that it's a regular hot dog, but there's cream cheese and grilled veggies on it, so that sounds very good. I waited about 20 minutes because first they were closed, so he said come back in 15. Actually, I think I waited like 40 minutes, oh my god, because then when I got back, they said cash only and I had no cash so I walked around for about 10 minutes trying to find an ATM I came back and they said okay wait another 10 minutes and they're gonna get their card reader and then when I got there and was ready to pay they said our card reader is slow so we can't take it and I made eye contact with the guy making the hot dogs and I was like I finally got my hands on the Seattle dog so let's eat it I just got the hot dog hold on I need another bite it's just tasting like a regular hot dog so far. Nothing crazy. Mm. Mm. Okay, I got a bite with cream cheese this time. It's bomb. Oh my gosh. Get a Seattle dog. It's amazing. And I honestly don't eat hot dogs like that, but cream cheese? Say less. So, final verdict. That was very good, especially for someone who doesn't eat hot dogs again. I don't know if I would get it another time but it's definitely worth a try so if you like hot dogs get the seattle dog I just left, don't look at me, and final verdict is it's okay. 
I think I just got a drink that I usually don't get and of course when I try something new I end up not liking it but I think the boba was good and the shop was too cute for me to hate it I'm very lenient when it comes to boba shops so drink wasn't for me I would definitely go back and try again if I ever return to Seattle but for now I'll just finish this and be sad Store, I ended up not getting anything, but then there's a food market happening. I'm in the international district where they're Chinatown, and I did not know about this, so I'm gonna check it out. I might get something, I don't know, we'll see because I am gonna get dinner soon, but I'll just take a look. I can't imagine if I stayed back, what would happen if I never found you? Those times were hard, and all I did was resent you. Oh no, I don't want to go back Oh how naive I was I'm running to where my hope is Where I know I'm free So I just took some photos Honestly, I'm still not cut out for this influencer life Because I'm too shy for this But I just want to see the view of the rooftop it looks so pretty at sunset and like I said there's like five different groups taking photos up here so definitely a hot spot for for pictures um I forgot what this parking garage is called but I'll put it in text right here so if you're ever in Seattle go to this parking garage if you want some good pictures and go when you are camera friendly don't go like me when you're shy got my latte it is the purple haze latte and on the menu it says a new developed ube latte made with our homemade syrup topped off with a layer of ube foam so i love ube you know the filipino in me will always always go for anything ube and i've actually never had like ube and coffee mixed together in one i think the drink i got yesterday at hood famous was the first one and this one looks like even more ube going on so let's try it also before i try it i also got this kimchi filled pastry i don't really know what it is i'm just kind of hungry and it looks really good so we're gonna try this too oh wow oh wow i think this one's better than hook famous you can really taste the ube i think in hook famous it's like a hint of ube and you know it's there but this it's straight up straight up ube and coffee but ooh, i think it's the foam the foam is really good it's still not too sweet like i was scared these were going to be very sweet drinks i think a cup of phil's coffee is still a lot sweeter than this so pleasantly surprised and not mad if anything very happy i'm very happy with this right now Mm, delicious i only got a small because i am planning to go back to starbucks reserve one more time today because i love that place and i really want to get the avocado another time so i only got a small okay let's try it that is delicious
I can see why that soup is called heartbreak or breakup soup because that would just warm your heart if it was her team. But that was very good. 10 out of 10. I would definitely go there again. I don't know what I'll do for the rest of the day, but for now, we will go get some boba. So my flight got delayed by an hour, so I decided I might as well get a drink. Cheers! I don't know what this is. I'll put it somewhere on the screen what this is, but I think there's matcha in it and whiskey. I think there's a lot of alcohol in here, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I like it. I don't even drink alcohol, but I might as well since I love the Starbucks Reserve so much, so cheers! Oh! That is delicious. You can't even taste like, I know there's whiskey in here, but it's not a bad alcohol taste at all. Wow, I'm pleasantly surprised. I hate alcohol, but this is, this is pretty good. Hello. So I just made it to the airport or the airport parking and I'm gonna drop my gig off and just head over to the airport for my flight home. It did get delayed, but I honestly didn't want to get dinner anywhere. I'm just so tired from the whole weekend. So I'm just gonna chill at the airport for two hours until my flight. But honestly, that was such a good weekend, especially for it to be my first solo trip and my first time in Seattle. Honestly, no regrets. I'm so glad that I chose this city and I'm just glad that I was able to do this by myself be with my own thoughts and just you know take a mental break and relax and have a vacation from my busy life but here's to many more solo trips to come hopefully i am going to hawaii in december by myself for a week until my parents meet up with me for christmas so that's technically my next solo trip but i do want to do a lot more in the future i hope an international solo trip will be in the works soon but i hope you enjoyed watching this video of me trying to live my best life i feel like i say that in every video but i really am i'm trying really hard to live my best life um, but I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you to everyone who's been subscribing as well. I'm like this close to hit my goal of a thousand and hopefully become a YouTube partner. So if you're new here, please, please subscribe if you like my content. But if you did like this video, just make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell button. Until then, see you soon. Bye.